Welcome to this VR experience for spatial awareness. Today we will explore a Cessna 172, interacting with the aircraft to understand the control surfaces, structure and dynamic forces. When you are ready, click start. Enter your student number below. Session usage data will be viewable by your lecturer. Situational awareness is the ability to perceive what is happening, comprehend what then needs to be done, and finally understand projection of necessary future actions. How would you rate your situational awareness around aircraft? Select how you would like to move around the aircraft in this experience. This can be changed later. Select if you would like to be guided by voice throughout this experience. You can change this later. To grab something, you can use grip on your controller. This is the button you can currently see glowing. Move your hands near the cube and press grip. Release this button to let go of the cube. Place the cube in the box to continue. To use an object, when grabbing it, press the trigger button on your controller. Press trigger while holding the cube to see it change color. When you are finished, place it in the box. Let's go to our aircraft and start exploring. When you are ready to start, click continue. Let's start by taking a walk around the aircraft. As we walk around, observe the control surface positions, their layout and structural importance for design and complete flight control. At any point you can access the main menu. The menu allows you to change the way you move, toggle voiceover and enter the cockpit. Open the menu by pressing the X button. This button is displayed on the giant controller to your right. To move forward, push forward on the joystick on your left controller and point where you want to go. Release to move. You can rotate by using the joystick on your right controller. Try this by moving over to the highlighted area. Take a walk around the aircraft. Observe the control surface positions, the layout of these and the aircraft structure. When you're ready to move on, come back here and click continue. Take a look at the aircraft. You can now see arrows indicating the forces acting upon the aircraft. Two positions have been marked indicating the center of mass and lift. Here is a yoke. This is used to control the aircraft. Using the grip, 
button on your controller. Grab the yoke and rotate it left and right. You will see the ailerons on the wings pitching up and down. Now let's use the yoke to control the pitch of the aircraft. Follow the guidance to move over to the highlighted area. Using the grip button on your controller, grab the yoke and push it forward and backwards. You will see the elevators move up and down. The change of this control surface position will cause the aircraft to pitch up or down. When grabbing the yoke, use the triggers on your controller. Pressing trigger on either controller will move the rudder. When applying rudder, this will yaw the aircraft to the left or right. Grab the flaps lever. Use the flaps lever to control the aircraft flaps. Observe how changing the flaps impacts the forces. Now you know how to control the aircraft surfaces. Let's take a look at this from different perspectives. Follow the guidance to head over to the first zone. Use the yoke and flaps to freely move the aircraft control surfaces. When you're ready to view this from the front of the aircraft, Use the yoke and flaps to freely move the aircraft control surfaces. When you're ready to move on, click continue. Now we've explored the control surfaces, let's look at the aircraft structure. When you're ready, click continue. First, we are going to view the fuselage structure of this Cessna 172. Move over to the highlighted area. Point your controller at the aircraft. You can now use trigger to select parts of the aircraft. Point and click on the fuselage to reveal the structure. Observe the fuselage structure and how this forms the main components of a strong, light, rigid structure. The fuselage is a monocot structure, meaning that the exterior skin supports the majority of the structural load. The main spar of the wing is attached to the fuselage at a single point and the wings are braced to the fuselage with struts.
Let's now look at the structure of the tail. Follow the guidance to move to the highlighted area. Using your controller, point at the rudder and use trigger to select it. Observe the tail structure and how it is connected to the fuselage. The rudder is controlled by a cable that runs from the rudder pedals in the cockpit to the rudder itself. The rudder is used to help keep the aircraft flying straight and level, your control and when performing coordinated turns. Using your controller, point at the elevators and use trigger to select it. Let me help you with that, it is now highlighted. Observe the tail structure and how it is connected to the fuselage. The Cessna 172 has a simple, symmetrical design. The two elevators are located on either side of the horizontal stabilizer and are connected to the control yoke. The elevators control the pitch of the aircraft. Now we will observe the structure of the wings, ailerons and flaps. Follow the guidance to the highlighted area. Using your controller, point at the wing and use trigger to select it. The Cessna 172 wings are designed with a tapered wingtip and a swept back leading edge. The wingtip provides a more aerodynamic shape and helps to reduce drag. The swept back leading edge increases the wing's lift to drag ratio. The Cessna 172 wings are designed with a dihedral angle to provide stability and prevent rollover. Next, we will observe the aileron structure. Follow the guidance. Using your controllers, point at the ailerons and use trigger to select them. The ailerons on the Cessna 172 are simply hinged flaps on the trailing edge of the wing that are used to generate roll control. When one aileron is deflected upward, the resulting aerodynamic forces cause the wing to roll in the same direction. Using your controllers, point at the flaps and use trigger to select them. The flaps on a Cessna 172 are located on the trailing edge of the wing and are used to increase lift and drag during takeoff and landing. There are three positions for the flaps for the extended takeoff and landing. Now that we have looked at the structure of this Cessna 172, take a walk to freely explore the structure further. Come back here when you are ready to move on and click continue. Next, we will explore the center of mass and center of lift. Follow the guidance to move over to the table. Using the joysticks, move the center of mass indicated as an orange circle. When you believe it is in the right location, press the red button. Using the joysticks, move the center of lift indicated as the blue circle. 
When you believe it is in the right location, press the red button. The static margin is indicated by the red line between the two dots. Here are your results. Now let's explore the cockpit. Use the button on your left controller to open the menu, then click on Enter Cockpit. Take some time to look around the cockpit and play with the yoke and flaps lever. When finished, click Continue. 